Hi, everybody. I'm Todd McKim, and welcome to CalBears.com. And we're with women's basketball coach, and I, we might add the Pac-12 Coach of the Year, Lindsey Gottlieb. Congratulations. Just you know, so many great things have come out. This was by the media. Uh, the coaches have their own, uh, but congratulations. Just a wonderful honor for you and your team. Well, thank you. I guess I'm, I'm nice to the media, and that pays off. <laughs> <laughs> um, but really, it was just such an incredible weekend for this program, winning you know, our share, first ever, the Pac-12 title. And... Um, you know, everyone asked, did, did, you, did I expect that? And I think we were so focused on the moment um, that, that it exceeded any possible expectation, seeing our kids celebrate and just a natural, genuine joy for having done it for the first time and how hard we work. So it was pretty cool. One of the best moments of my career, for sure. I'm sure it was and for all the players and the fans as well. But you took care of business again on the road. You go undefeated on the road in conference play. That, that's a tough accomplishment no matter who you're playing and what conference you're in. Yeah, you know, when I was having my own personal kind of nerves session on Friday night for the game, I just sat back and said, you know, Lindsay, we've played our best against good teams on the road. And Washington was a good team. They posed some matchup issues. But our kids were so dialed in. Um, Charmin Smith did a great scouting report. We really knew how to defend them. And I, at that point, I just could be calm because I'm like, okay, we just need to do what we do. And our players just, whew, they came out and, and not only did it, but um, really um, excelled. And it was fun to see. I'm glad it was decisive. I don't know if I could have held up for a close one. <laughs> yeah, because again, and your team has been so good at this almost all year long. Get out of the gate quickly and you're leading almost every game you've led at the half and you just crushed the Huskies on the boards by almost three dozen. Talia hit her first 10 field goals, and I mean, what else can you say? Yeah, I mean, it was just a great all-around team performance. That's what we talked about, that we hadn't played Washington yet. And so I said, they don't know us. Here's our chance, you know, and we had a huge advantage inside. Um, and I, Talia was, I, I can't say enough. I mean, she essentially said, I'm winning a championship. Who wants to come with me? Um, she, she passed the ball really well. She finished. But the entire team locked in on defense. We did what we needed to do. We finished plays. We got stops. Um, it, it was a terrific team effort. And, and to be honest, I was almost disappointed that we let him go on a NATO run to be only up 11 at the half. That's how well we've been playing. I thought we'd built that, you know, 15, 18 point lead, but we came back out in the second half and really, you know, set the tone. And it was just a great all around team win. And as the old saying goes, to the victors go the spoils of war. Not only are you the coach of the year, but you had three players on the media all conference first team, Lasia, Brittany, and Jennifer. And then you had two more, Liza and Brittany, on the first team defense. How cool is that? I mean, I think, again, that's just a mark of how deep this team is and versatile. And, you know, I, I really wanted Eliza to get that recognition. I think she's defensive player of the year in the conference. We'll see what happens from the coaches. But the fact that the media recognizes this young woman comes off the bench and changes it, the game, and just the style that we play, Brittany, and we could have had three others on that. And to have three players recognized um, on all conference, I, I think it just – says that's how we win games we need everybody someone different steps up all the time you know and you know Talia and Afure are two starters who aren't on that all-conference team and you know you're talking about Talia going 10 for 11 and Afure having 14 first half points against Washington State I think that's a signature of a good team and I'm really proud of our players I think they deserve everything that's coming to them but I hope and I know that they recognize that it's because of the team's success. All right, we'll talk about the future, but you mentioned Afure Gemma Rigby. She has uh, kind of had a, an up-and-down kind of a season, but had the 14 first-half points in Pullman, so let's get her story. This has been an up-and-down season for Afure Gemma Rigby, but she is poised to finish with a bang. Over the past seven games, the junior from St. Mary's High School in Stockton has averaged 8.5 points and is connecting on 40% of her three-point attempts. Sophomore year, I kind of started a little bit well, but then I had that ankle injury. It was really tough. Um, just kind of rolling with what I got. I, I, my three-point shot is starting to fall a little bit better. So uh, I try to take everything that I can, open shots when it's open, and just making the right decisions. And I think it's been going well for me. And for the team as well. The Bears captured a share of their first Pac-12 championship with a victory over Washington last Saturday, the culmination of a lot of hard work and some hard knocks as well. Freshman year, you know, we had, well, it was sophomore. Our seniors now were sophomores, and I was a freshman with Michaela and Abigail. Um, and uh, we were just, you know, young-minded. We didn't know what to expect, uh, playing a lot of minutes. Uh, and I think now, from experience, we know what to expect out there. Now those expectations have reached historic highs. Each and every night this season, the Bears have taken their opponent's best shot. Ranked sixth in the country, the Bears have had their fair share of Houdini moments when they had to rally from double-digit deficits to win. 
The philosophy we have, you know, taking one game at a time, I think it also plays into like one possession at a time. So, you know, if we're down by 16, you know, like coach said, there is no 12 point shot. So, you know, every possession, stop on defense, push on offense, score, stop on defense, and have that mentality. I think it's what's working for us. With a school best 17 1 conference record and 15 consecutive victories, the Bears enter the conference tournament this week with unmatched confidence. But unlike recent years, the yearly postseason gathering will be held at a truly neutral site. Instead of the Galen Center in LA, the women will converge on Key Arena in Seattle. I'm actually really excited. You know, half of our team is from LA, so, you know, we get a lot of fan base there, uh, a lot of family members. Um, it's going to be interesting, new. Um, Galen Center wasn't really our court for us. We struggled a lot there. So, I mean, we're going to try it in Seattle and see where it goes from us. It will mark back-to-back -back trips to the Great Northwest, where the Bears will try to win their first ever tournament title. And after that? Honestly, sky's the limit. I think, I think we can get to the Final Four. Uh, we're gunning for that. We're pushing for that. So that's where it is. So Afure, and, and kind of looking up her statistics, now her season is gone. She said, I think 13 or 14 games in double figures, but she's had some games where she hasn't, so she's kind of been up and down. But as we detailed in the piece, seems to be playing her most consistent basketball as you head down the home stretch here. Yeah, Fu's been terrific. I mean, she started every game. She's turned into an incredible defender. I mean, she has really improved in that area. Um, and she's she's a scorer for us. Again, there's some games where she doesn't score as much, and we don't necessarily need her to. Um, but she has really been confident, especially when people double down on our posts. You know, we have a lot of confidence she's going to knock down shots. She goes to the rim. Um, just, I think she's had a really great year, and I, th I still think her best is in front of her. Um, but she's a critical piece for us, and, and we know that her confidence level in postseason is going to be huge. All right, this week you go back to Seattle, Key Arena, to play in a pro arena, which doesn't happen all the time, so there's the excitement there. And then you have the first round bye because you get the second seed in the tournament, and you're going to face either USC or Oregon State, uh, two teams you swept this year, but we've known in the past USC's been – been a difficult out and the two games this year were, were really good games. Yeah I mean our reward for winning is having a pretty tough uh, quarterfinal game I mean, Oregon State had us down 17 points and USC is USC so we'll be ready. Um, I think our players like challenges got to play who's in front of you. Um, we'll, we'll definitely use that Thursday day of rest to watch someone else play and say we've earned that bye uh, and our, our players have been great all year about just focusing on the task at hand. Um, those are both formidable opponents and in fact Michaela Lyles said to me after we won the championship it's so much more meaningful because of the strength of the conference this year so we're aware of that but I think our player, players are playing their highest level of basketball right now we'll get them ready for either opponent um, get that first one out of the way and, and hopefully move on to the semifinals and did you know we have two assistant coaches that played for the Seattle Storm and so they're going to help familiarize us with the key arena Charmin and Katie both played for the Seattle Storm. Ah, that's a nice little tidbit. Very nicely done. So they can give you the little tour up there as to what's going on and where yeah. to go and where not to go. Seattle already feels like our second home. They'll help us out with that. All right. Well, good luck in the tournament. We look forward to talking to you next week with hopefully another championship under your belt. Thank you very much. All right, Lindsay Gottlieb on the Women's Basketball Report on CalBears.com.